guys welcome to my channel in my previous video i mentioned that we were going to the market to buy some food items in bulk and i was cleaning out my deep freezer to make some room for the food that we were going to buy well in this video i'm going to show you everything that we bought and i'm going to tell you where we bought them how much we spent to buy them as well as what time of the year we prefer to go bulk buying so if you're interested and you want to know more about it then please keep watching i really enjoy buying my food stuff in bulk there's this feeling of satisfaction you get when you know that there's enough food at home to last you and your family for months. Even when you don't have any money in your pocket, you're not too worried because you know that there's always something to eat when you get home. So these are the food ingredients we went to the market to buy and it's because of these tomatoes and onions in particular that we decided to go to the market to buy in bulk today. So I'm going to break it down for you everything we spent and how we spent it because we had a budget so that you can be able to decide for yourself whether it's worth it to buy in bulk or not i was so tired when we came back from the market that i didn't even realize that i was filming this in the wrong format so i hope you guys can still see all the food stuff that are in the video please bear with me i'll try not to do it again <laughs> So we usually buy our food stuff in bulk twice a year and that's because we try to stretch whatever food we buy so that it lasts us a minimum of 6 months. We bought everything you're seeing on the ground here from K2 Market, the tomatoes, onions, cabbage, carrots, everything you're seeing on the ground was purchased in K2 Market. After shopping from there we went to Oyingbo Market in Yaba where we bought the dried seafood like the crayfish, stockfish, dry fish and even the spices. We bought some local spices from Oyingbo. If you don't know where Oyingbo is, it is in Yaba. Yaba is in Lagos. <laughs> Lagos is in Nigeria. <laughs> so that's where we went to buy the dried spices and the dried seafood. Then from there we went to our final destination which was in Apapa. We went to our papa and that's where we bought all the groceries, the spaghetti, pasta, oils and all that. We try to gauge the market and we wait until food prices have crashed before we rush to the market to buy and I've discovered that food prices usually fall around these three months january immediately after the festive season that's any time from january 2nd april just before easter that's around lent time food prices also fall around that time so we buy any time in that month and then around october november this is another great time to try and bulk buy because i noticed that food prices also fall around this time and certain food stuff are really cheaper around this time of the year so let me tell you guys the prices of each of the items that we bought i'll start with the perishables and then i'll move to the groceries so we bought half a basket of tomatoes for 2,500 naira. Now when you get to K2 market, they won't call it a basket, they'll call it a crate. So we actually bought half a crate of tomatoes for 2,500 naira. And the prices fluctuate, it depends on the time of the year you're going to buy. Then we bought the carrot, cucumbers, cabbage and the peas for 1,000 naira per quantity. And then the onions, we bought the smallest basket for 2,000 naira. We bought a basin each of the habanero and the chili peppers and we paid 1,000 naira per basin. We bought the bigger yams for 600 naira a piece and then we bought the smaller yams for 400 naira a piece. For the crayfish, I paid 3,800 naira for a paint rubber. Then I bought a paint rubber of white beans for 1,800 and then I asked them to grind it into powder for me. The palm oil was 5,000 naira per gallon. Vegetable oil was 7,500 for the pack of four. Spaghetti, 450. Pasta, 700. 
The tomato puree in tube was 500. We used to buy 350, but now it's 500 a piece. The Milo and the tomato puree in Sachet were almost the same price as in the regular market. There wasn't much difference. The peas and the sweet corn were 5.50 a can. In the brown sack is 15 kg of oats. I don't know which year we're going to finish eating that, but my husband bought it for 12,000 naira. We also bought some granola, we bought some cheese balls, we bought biscuits and ground nuts. But we didn't buy them in bulk, we just bought them at the quantity we'll be able to consume for now. So honestly, I can't remember their prices, I've actually forgotten the prices, but they are part of our list, so I decided to add them in this video. Groundnut doesn't last in my house, you can see that we've already started eating the groundnuts before I started filming. Do you guys also buy your food stuff in bulk or are you the type that feels like <laughs> buying in bulk is too much stress and it's not worth the energy? Please comment below and let me know. If there's any item I forgot to mention the price of, please let me know so that I can leave it in the comments for you. The only downside to buying in bulk is that you have to gather a lump sum to be able to buy something substantial in the market and of course storage. You have to have a means of storing the food stuff you're buying so that they don't go bad before you are able to use it otherwise it will be like you just wasted your time and your effort and even your money trying to get these food ingredients and they have spoiled before you are able to consume them. So before you go bulk buying make sure you sort out the storage part of it so that you don't waste your money and your time. As per storage and how I'm able to preserve the full stuff that we've bought until we're able to consume them, I think I'll do a more in-depth video about this because this is a conversation on its own. So make sure you watch out for that video on storage of vegetables. In the meantime, I'm just going to show you guys how I prep the tomatoes and the peppers I bought for storage.
I hope you guys had fun and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, the like and the subscribe buttons are your best friends. So please click on them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.